Queen in hospital for overnight stay after health fears cancelled royal tour? Queen Elizabeth II attended hospital for an overnight stay after health fears cancelled an upcoming royal tour? Royal doctors sent the monarch to be seen by specialists in London on Wednesday afternoon after she was forced to cancel a royal tour? Buckingham Palace said she was in good spirits following preliminary investigations during her visit to hospital. The palace said, following medical advice to rest for a few days, the Queen attended hospital on Wednesday afternoon for some preliminary investigations, returning to Windsor Castle at lunchtime today, Thursday, and remains in good spirits. It is believed the medical team acted out of caution to have her admitted on Wednesday. This marked her first overnight stay in hospital in eight years. The Queen was understood to be back at her at Windsor Castle and was reading her official government red boxes. On doctor's advice, the Queen cancelled a two-day trip to Northern Ireland. Concerns were raised when she started to use a walking stick on engagements at Westminster Abbey and the Welsh Parliament this month. Over her 69-year reign the Queen has managed to avoid any severe health issues. In fact everyone is in awe of her ability to keep up with royal duties as well as she does. The last time she was hospitalized was in 2013, due to suffering symptoms of gastroenteritis, a condition that causes diarrhea and vomiting. Since then she has visited her private hospital, King Edward VII for a routine health checkup. Although this seems relatively normal for someone of the monarch's age, at the time speculation surrounding her health grew. Again in 2016 the Queen's health was thrown into question when she was forced to delay Christmas travel plans due to her and her husband Prince Philip suffering from heavy colds. Due to what was probably natural winter cold and flu, the royal couple had to spend the festive period at Sandringham rather than their usual residence of King Lynn. Most notably, the Queen was admitted for surgery back in 2003. The operation aimed to remove torn cartilage in her right knee and two small lesions on her face. This procedure followed a similar operation on her other knee at the beginning of the same year and was said to be a result of natural degradation, not a specific fall or injury. In order to maintain her impeccable health record, the Queen is constantly given the best health advice. Sources told Vanity Fair on October 14 that doctors had told the Queen to not drink alcohol except on special occasions so that she will maintain her health in order to celebrate her Platinum Jubilee in June 2022. A friend of the royal family told Vanity Fair, It's not really a big deal for her, she is not a big drinker but it seems a trifle unfair that at this stage in her life she's having to give up one of very few pleasures. The medical advice comes days after the Queen was seen in public with a cane for the first time in 17 years, the last time being in 2003 after her knee surgeries. When attending the service of Thanksgiving in Westminster Abbey on October 12 and again later at the opening of the Welsh Parliament the monarch was handed a walking stick as she emerged from the car. The use of the walking stick was understood to be for the monarch's comfort. This comes after her husband, Prince Philip sadly passed away after spending a month in hospital. Prince Philip passed away peacefully at Windsor Castle in April at the age of 99. Buckingham Palace issued a statement following the news and said, It is with deep sorrow that Her Majesty the Queen announces the death of her beloved husband, His Royal Highness the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. His Royal Highness passed away peacefully this morning at Windsor Castle. Further announcements will be made in due course. The royal family join with people around the world in mourning his loss.
His Royal Highness the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. His Royal Highness passed away peacefully this morning at Windsor Castle. Further announcements will be made in due course. The royal family join with people around the world in mourning his loss.